Uh, dagger ones go flight. <clears throat> dagger two go flight. God damn it, where's dagger three? It went left, Nick. It didn't go right. I am unfortunately dagger four. Uh, <laughs> box one. I know I'm not dagger three, so I'm dagger 98. Whoa. We don't we don't got that's that a, many fucking lot of we daggers. don't got that many birds in circulation. It doesn't matter. That, that's the number they gave. No, me. your call sign could be ninety eight. No, my call sign is ninety nine fucking... restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my call sign is ninety nine popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, know. I don't know. It's three back there, baby. So we got dagger three in the back somewhere. Um, yep. Oh, dagger no. three, go flight. Okay, no. you go, Bruce. Dagger five, go flight. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> I don't even know what number we're on anymore. You're wow. on six. You're six. on six. We skip four. Uh, dagger six here, I guess. Dagger Whoa. seven. Dagger seven. Go flight. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Fucking speak up, Greenhorn. <laughs> Did you take my number? What, com what, com what comes after? Comes seven, uh, fuck it. We're just going to go start <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> For Christ's sake. Hey, that's on me. Welcome that's on me. That was on me. <laughs> oh, here. We, got a, we got a full ooh, barn ooh, and then some today. We got ooh. Tony Dogs. What's up, bro? Dagger Nick, 2. Nick. Yeah, Dagger 2, Tony Dogs. Uh, we got Nick Dagger Skates, four. Nick Moraldo, hey, Dagger bro. 4, Box 1, back from Hawaii. Hang ooh. Hey, bro. Oh, hang loose, bro. Looking tan. How Looking much mana? Real tan. How much mana did you bring back? So much mana, but then I shedded most of it on my oh. sunburn as my skin peeled off like oh. a lizard. Oh, oh. you didn't bring, you didn't put mana in your suitcase? It's hard what? to bring back. The U.S. agriculture does not love you bringing mana back. They want you Amen. keeping all that mana in Awa'a. Yeah. Um, Awa'i. Yep. Uh, Connor's here. Thank you. Yep. Good to see you guys. Go flight 10 or yep. whatever. Exactly, what? whatever you were. Hanger, uh, hanger 7. <laughs> and then damn near everybody in the back, we got Mitt. Ooh. What? We got Zeke. Ooh. What? We got Bruce. What? And for the first time in a long time, I think he's been on it before. I don't I can't, know. If I'm not mistaken. First time in the dome. So. First time in the dome so. for sure. We have the incomparable, <laughs> the unbelievable, the boy wonder, Jake the snake, Herbo Herbs. Have you been on the show before, Herbie? No, this is the first time. Speak up, ah, boy! Big moment, big moment, first time. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Fantastic, doing, doing great, you know. Hell of a weekend, watch some of the McGregor doc. Ooh, what'd you think? It, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, finding hard to care. What? Uh, I really like him, I really do. I'm here for the accents. I'm not really here for the story. I feel like yeah. I know it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a little propaganda vibes, too. Like, very, have a very narrow. Yes, he did. Yes. Uh, not, 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 I believe came out yeah. a while ago. Which yeah. was awesome. And that was, like, at the peak. That was with, before all these losses. Yeah. Um, but it is also cool just seeing what he's doing. But aside from that, yeah, it was good. I, uh, you know, I had a quesadilla from a place. What? I've been pooping yeah. green the last two days. Have you really? Oh, cool. Where yeah. from? Well, you know what? I'm gonna withhold that information. Is it the same place you went back to? The no, that is, that well. is, no, 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 absolutely not. Is it, it a place I've been before? Oh, uh, I don't think you've eaten there before. Is it a, is but it I've a been local? there. Before. It is a hole in the wall. Okay, I see. Oh. Definitely not like a hey, you should go eat here. Sure, okay. More I like a oh, fuck. I'm kind of hungry. You guys, the kitchen's still open. Yes. And you then want it, your fucking shit to be green for the next four days. Bingo. I do. And I just. Kind of figured out last night after Green Poop 3. I was like, okay, what did I <laughs> What do you think it was? <laughs> the onions? No, no onions. Lock? It's Lettuce? Just, it's just a cheese quesadilla. What? That's Hold on it? a second. Oh, Chick Lord. Chicken and cheese quesadilla. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I forget that cheese quesadilla doesn't automatically go with the no. chicken. Yeah, it was a chicken and cheese quesadilla. If you would have said chicken quesadilla, I would assume that there was cheese on there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't have to say cheese. Yeah, so chicken quesadilla. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, And yeah, that'll be the last time I uh, I eat at that place. But <laughs> okay. I should have known going into it not sure. to eat there. You sure. know. But uh, no, it was a great week. We played a little golf. We did play a little golf. It was fun. What it was a, lovely. Yeah. It is so goddamn. Damn, it was so goddamn hot on Saturday. Yeah, that it's terrible. You almost couldn't do anything. Yeah. You really almost couldn't do anything. I mean, it was like what ninety eight by like oh, around noon. Jeez. Yeah. You guys had a quick back nine though, right? Well, it's funny you should mention that. Yeah, interesting, um, Bruce. We played huh. the front in oh, under two hours. Yeah, hour hour forty, 40 minutes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, yeah we Perfect. were great pace. We were flying. Uh, Connor, young Herbie back there, mm -hmm. and myself. 
And, you know, on the turn, it was starting to get real hot. So we were like, all right, you know, Herbie, you take the card up to number 10 because we had uh, like two 85-year-old guys and an old lady mm -hmm. behind us. And at <laughs> I want to say when we were on hole seven, they were, like, just teeing off on five. Like, we had fucking basically Huge left leaves. them in the dust. Yeah. Okay. So me and Connor go in. You know, we grab mm -hmm. a couple ice-cold beers, a couple ice-cold water, what? a couple hot dogs, what? Gatorades, what? et cetera, et cetera, because we were going to need it because it was so fucking hot. Yeah, going to be hammer up. And uh, we get up to the 10th tee, and there was a group ahead of us, but they – T uh, tenth hole is a par five, and they mm -hmm. were, you know, a ways down there. Yeah, like one shot from the green. Exactly. Long gone. Yeah, long gone. But we were thinking, hey, we got nobody behind us. We're going to be good here. Let's fucking enjoy our plump hot dogs here yep. on the tee box before yeah. we tee off. So much time. So we do. We're eating our, our plump weenies on the hot mm -hmm. dog, or yep. on the tee box. And then by this time, the group in front of us is on the green. Exactly. So me and Connor are on the tee box, and, and Herbie is back down by uh, the carts. I don't know if he was grabbing a, a Mick Ultra or a, a water or sure. whatever, what have you. Grabbing something. And uh, the old folks approach us from behind okay. and say, like, Would you young gentlemen mind if we play through? <laughs> and without any hesitation, no, Herbie, uh, Herbie just being a chicken shit. Yeah, go right ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so, While these people in front of us are on the green. Yeah. So wow. me, and, me and Connor just raz his ass. I could have <laughs> rest of the rest of the day. Exactly, because yeah. we got we got to the point where they they skipped the hole. Obviously, they went right to eleven. Eleven's a par three, so we could see them the whole time. And by the time we had finished <laughs> the tenth hole, which part, we went so slow, so slow, like literally like drinking. Probably each had at, drank at least a full beer. Yeah, a whole. We had we're, plenty of snacks to carry us over. Well, yeah, a lot of snacks, we're exactly. But we I mean, we're out there to play golf. You guys not are fine. Snacks. Okay, you had snacks. Yeah, exactly. Who had snacks? I, I just had a fucking I dog. Say, I had a dog. What that snacks, Herbie? <laughs> well, he he had a lunchbox packed for him. and had a bunch of fruits. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. true. He, he, he a gogurt and a fucking chair. Also got a bunch of treats when he laid down and rolled over and let this whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Pet his belly. Yep. Yep. Uh, so we're we're sitting there probably about 140 out from the green, and uh, these bags of bones are just teeing off on the the 11th hole, and I see this lady fucking top one off the tee box, hits it about three feet, <laughs> and you know so again we just start razzing her. You off. dip shit. Hey, next time you want to give him your wallet too, and they <laughs> ask you know et cetera et cetera all the, all the good stuff. We get up to 11, and uh, they're still on the green. Yeah, they're still on the green. Now, granted, we shouldn't razz Herbie too bad because we played at a fucking snail's pace on the back, but it was kind of right. just us deciding, hey, we'll do it, because then there, there was no one behind us. Yeah. Um, and Herbie was like, isn't that the best? Like, no one's freaking behind us. Yeah. We can just do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't like guys breathing on my neck on yeah. the tee box. Exactly, yeah. I'd well, rather not have anybody behind me. We'll let them play through, eat, like, a few hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, had, had relax. <laughs> hadn't happened all day. I mean, there was no one right. behind us all day, but I, I understand what you're saying because we would have left those people in the dust, but I get it. Mm -hmm. At what point can you skip those guys? That's well, what the conversation was. Yeah, me and Connor were basically saying, like, hey, let's get on these people's asses. Because if we really, really wanted to, like, we probably could have hurry up, hurried up and played the 10th hole and then met him on the 11th tee box and be like, eh, actually, you know what, old man, fucking take a yeah. seat. We're you got, Sit we're down, old through. man. You got no choice. I think that's an unprecedented move. I think your only option would have been to skip a whole head and try and jump them yeah. and, and I, just stay out in front. Exactly, and I didn't want to do that no. because my game came alive on the back nine. And oh, I exactly. Like, you know, hey, that's I'm, quite a I'm not fucking skipping a par three because Herbie was a chicken shit. Yeah. And couldn't just say, like, you know what, old man, and fucking no. Go eat some vanilla wafers in your cart for a little mm -hmm. bit. And hey, here's the up. Werther's original. Cool off. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. But it wasn't that bad. It was a good golf round. It was very, very Great hot. breeze. Great breeze. Great breeze. And we we had a good day. Herbie, I tell you what, good little golfer. Herbie oh, can yeah. play. Good little golfer. Herbie he can, can play. He oh, can shit. smack the ball around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he Surprise piped myself. a drive. I'm, I'm probably like 300 yards. Oh, yeah, pretty close. Yeah. That was hole one, wasn't it? No, no I think no. it was the last hole. You hit a good drive on hole one, though, yes. Felt good. And then you top two drives on the yeah, second yep. mm -hmm. yeah. hole. Had a great putter yeah, game. That's because yeah. of the people behind you. You could see yeah, them in the distance. Yeah. Yeah. You guys want to talk about the putt that happened? We were all kind of lined up in the same area. Yeah, we had a par three. Herbie hit a uh, tee shot about 30 yards over the green. Mm -hmm. Like yep. I said, he can pipe it. Yep. And then nice little chip. Then 
I mean, 25 footer. Oh yeah, 20, 25, 30 footer. Yeah, Aww. it was nice. Oh, he made it to oh, save yeah. par. He yeah. just wow. brought, he just brought that up for you guys to talk about. Yeah. Bingo. I did. Yeah. He I did. did. I did. Uh, yeah. Also, Very always cool. good. Uh, I think I've only played golf with Herbie once, but got him, uh, you know, on a par three where pretty easy hole, about 125 yards, and right in his backswing, just hit him with a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. It was about two holes after the uh, uh, alleged incident of him, you know, letting those people go. Yeah, which is one of my favorite things, too. I, I, I've definitely done it to Bruce a couple oh, times. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's always oh, a good yeah. one. But enough of the golf game. How's Hawaii? Everyone's yeah. fucking yeah, clamoring. They want to know. About it. Is, that what, is that what they're clamoring? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Pic- oh, pictures yeah. looked incredible. How much mana did you bring back? Mana? We just we, we about got it. <laughs> 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 covered the mana. No, no, I know, but I don't. I didn't feel like I got a good answer. Uh, I agree. Like I said, dude, the fucking U.S. Department of Agriculture really frowns upon bringing a lot of mana, mana back. Yeah. 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 I don't like you got that mana answer. in that bag. <laughs> hey, exactly. son, keep that mana in there. Uh, no, it was fucking awesome. It was incredible. It's a paradise. It, uh, I'm the only person affected by allergies, apparently, uh, on oh, fucking no. Hawaii. No, I, I don't want to bag on a whole trip because it was incredible, uh, incredible honeymoon with the lady. But uh, I did experience some. Uh, I thought I got suntan lotion in my eye. Like first, <laughs> first real beach day. Oh, like God. first day we got there, just chilled, hung out a little bit because the time difference, sure. whatever. Second day, got to experience the full beach day, and so it's technically the third day, I guess. We're chilling by the pool, and I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on in my eye? Rubbing my eye constantly, yeah. right eye, right eye, oh, rubbing, no. rubbing, rubbing, no. and it's just Pink leaking eye. tears. Just uh, the thought had crossed my okay. mind. Sure. Pink eye. I was like, but no, this just fe- it's burning. So this feels like suntan burning. lotion in my eye. Sting. I go back to the room. I'm rinsing it out. I rinse it out for like half an hour. Still nothing. Come back to the pool. I'm fighting. Boys, I'm fighting. Yeah, okay. trying. I am just hammering drinks. I'm just, if I get drunk enough, I won't feel it yep. anymore. I, I just couldn't do it. It kept leaking. I go back to the room, take a shower, open this thing as wide as I can. Smart. I'm running on the faucet. Goes away. Oh, like, oh I'm good. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm oh. good. I wake up the next day, both eyes, just red, watery. Oh. Oh. Jeez. I go no. to the urgent care, and I'm we thinking, it, it was the last thing on my mind, but they were like, are you allergic to anything? I was like, no. They were like, uh, have you been here before? I was like, yeah. I was like, I was here a couple years ago in like February. What island? Uh, same island. Okay. But they were like, oh, well, you know, summertime uh, might be your allergies. And fucking sure as shit, there was some plant or some type of wildlife or something fucking crawled in my eyeball from that pool area, oh, like no. around the pool. It would only happen around because we'd go to the pool bar a couple times later that week. It would only happen. It didn't happen anymore on the beach. Didn't happen anymore around the room, out back of the room, hanging out. Like we get this like little like ocean side little bungalow thing. Sure. You think the sweet. water, like the pool water. No, it was. Oh, like a I, I didn't have to even get in the water. I can see. Yeah, there was some type of plant that was fucking. Around Ty and I were just talking face fucking. It hasn't mono. rained here in probably I don't know fucking twenty days. Oh my god! So we were cutting, so our, cutting our grass this weekend. I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're... If no. I immediately went to the Claritin and started hammering that. I got some prescription eye drops from the I've, fucking... Uh, I've allergy uh, eye drops in the locker. Yeah. You never need it. Was, it was no. huge. It saved yeah. the trip. It saved the trip because then we got to go to uh, Pearl Harbor, and I was like, I mean, it's okay to cry at Pearl Harbor. I'm not going to be... Oh, yeah. cool. But I... I I'd want it to be real tears of emotion. I don't want it to be because my eyes are yeah, fucking... Sure, yeah, What's right. that sign say? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, no, that was, that was unbelievable. Uh, phew, heavy. I bet. I can heavy. imagine. Yeah, I bet. And then we took a helicopter tour. Fucking Captain did Joe to took us up. Cool. Did you get to fire any Tech uh, Joe uh, can fly a helicopter? Yes. <laughs> yes. I did uh, I did lay some scunion. You did? Oh, yeah. They sent me a Pearl picture Harbor of tour. this fucking gun and just they said, got, imagine the scunion you could lay. Oh, yeah. They got, they got, it was like a mounted 50 cal, and then there was some you? other type of howitzer, some type of fucking massive gun on the shore there. Uh, laid some scunion with that. Did you see where Taylor Kish and Rihanna... Um, yeah, that's a good ooh, a We did take a helicopter tour, and they showed us uh, pretty much all the spots where movies were filmed. Uh, they did not go over Battleship, seemingly enough. I don't know if there was a certain Bullshit. box that's office weird. number you had to hit for them <laughs> to highlight on the tour. <laughs> that's we saw, weird. We saw the valley where they filmed most of Jurassic Park in. That you know, ooh. everyone oh, yeah. knows that valley. Oh, yeah. Fifty yeah. first dates? There's still uh, <laughs> the bones of a Kong from Kong Skull Island. That's there. it. Yeah. Left, Real? kind of cool. Wow. Some footprints from Godzilla. Yes. Or down there oh, in that yeah. valley. And uh, it was pretty sick. Doors open on the chopper. Like that was nuts. Okay. Oh, Jesus. that is. No thanks. That, that is crazy. Absolutely. And they strap you in. Really, it's just like a little. Seat. It's just a little seatbelt. Yep. That got banned in New York. 
Was really? there any I idea like oh. photographers falling out? No, they were very big. Like I just stuck my arm out a little bit to get some shots, but they were very big on like do not stick I think anything I saw you. outside of the helicopter. Like you can't wear a hat. Anything will get sucked out. They're like if you're gonna puke, do it in a bag inside because if you puke outside, it's coming right back in at you. Hmm. And afterwards, it was nuts. You sit there and I'm like trying to flick my hair out of my face. It wasn't even my hair. It was my face was so beat up from the wind. Oh, just, again, face fucking my face. Yeah. That it feels like you just have some hair, shit man. on your All, face. Yeah, it was such a weird sensation. Weird feeling. They give you a strap for your phone, right? Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. you got to strap in. Have wow. to be strapped in. Hell yeah. Super cool, though. What was um, the tour for Dog to Bounty Hunter like? He was he was awesome. You got to run around with Leland. Yep. What? And uh, Leland showed you around all That's the famous awesome. spots. He gave you a pack of cigs to hand out as yep. you went. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Back in the car. Yeah. Yep. You got to cross the skate some ice. It was dope. What was woman like? Uh, that's Florida. <laughs> oh, okay. You're thinking yeah, of Florida. Woman, woman, different dog. Woman in crash. This is a yeah. work, yeah. isn't yeah. it? You didn't go on a dog the bounty hunter well, tour. Yeah, yes. Did you really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Paid top dollar for that. Too. You don't go to Hawaii and don't do that tour. Yeah. 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 Don't be well, idiots, guys. Premier tour. Bruce. Got to put the cuffs on some homeless guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I Come here, bro. That. You didn't know that, Mitt? No, I had no fucking idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Look at the photos. You do any volcanoes, any mountains, any ranges? Uh, the mountains were part of the helicopter tour, indeed. I did not climb any, but uh, we soared above them from the top. That was pretty sick. No canos? That's way better. I didn't see. They, they didn't say any. <laughs> no active canos. They, they weren't. No they were, active canos? They, they, uh, they did show us one particular uh, island sculpture, and they were like, this one in particular, it's not a sculpture, it's an actual island. He's like, this island. Uh, this is no. This rock formation is known as uh, Chinaman's Hat. They will be changing oh, that what? name yeah, right. soon. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> yeah, I was, you don't uh, say. I was like, okay, we're still we're still using that name. Yep, and we're still going with that one. Okay, Hawaii. Uh, yeah, yeah, still stuck in some old ways out there. Uh, yeah, we went tell. to a uh, Chinaman's Cano. We yeah. went to Lua. <laughs> saw some dude uh, spitting, twirling, throwing fire around. Love that. That's okay. pretty sick. He had oh, great jokes. Really like a lot of Luau, the MC. Real lame jokes. Mm -hmm. The fire breathing Samoan got Was up he there. Was he deep throating mm -hmm. it too? He didn't deep. He uh, he <laughs> he took one twirly thing, licked it, and then spit it onto the other twirly thing. That's cool. That's that was cool. Pretty nasty. Did you have a hog with an apple in his mouth? Yeah. Nice. Really? Oh yeah. Nice. Damn. Did you? How have, was it? Did you do a luau? Absolutely delicious. Yeah, I did, did not. Uh, my lady did partake in the. Uh, yeah. You didn't You're fucking that? crazy. Did you have a lay on? What? Yeah, they laid you. Uh, yeah, did you request to eat the hog's penis because that is the you know, sweetest part? Uh, dude, our table delicacy. got called absolutely last. So obviously so someone had, had gobbled down the hogs. Uh, hog hogs by penis, that point. You know, had the nuts. Yeah. I did go up Were to the open bar. Were you other humans with this table or just you two? Oh, yeah, tons of other humans. Now, this was obviously her idea to go to Luau. But so it's our honeymoon, so I'm like, yes. I mean, you got, got a Luau. Out. We got, we yeah, got, got a Luau. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, like you got a Luau. Table. And they have, uh, did you know that uh, they have cowboys in Hawaii? Uh, no, yeah. they don't. Yeah, they there's do. no cows. Yeah, they do. Then oh, how, how'd cows. they get there? There's cows. It was a cowboy. They were brought over in uh, what do you mean? the 1800s in Horse, King Kamehameha. On the Nina, the Pinta, wow. and the Sansa. He said that these are sacred cattle, so no one could fuck with them. So Ooh. they grew from six cattle to about 400, yeah. and they kind of took over one of the islands. Incest. And then the cowboys came in, and they're like, okay, this is how you do it. And they taught the uh, native folk there how to wrangle cattle. That's cool. Then they uh, had next Hawaiian season, cowboys. Yellowstone. So there was a little ranch there on yes. the resort. And they had a couple horses, had a couple cattle. So this was a Hawaiian cowboy luau. Wow. That Ooh. sounds so much Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It was pretty sick. Uh, the cowboys and aliens. Yeah. Were they playing fucking, I want to be a cowboy, oh, baby. baby. <laughs> was that just playing the whole time? They actually had Kid come out. No, they played. <laughs> they should remix Hippies and Cowboys to Hawaiians and Cowboys. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. They played some Hawaiian uh, tunes, and they told a story of one Hawaiian cowboy who I believe in the late 1800s. Moana? Went over to the States. And now I know. To one of the biggest rodeos in, I want to say, I think it was Idaho, mm -hmm. maybe. That's, That's good Cowboys. Did you see Moana? I did not see more. I listened to the story of the cowboy. He went over. He's a Hawaiian cowboy. Okay? <laughs> he had a he had a lay around his cowboy hat. Ooh, <laughs> and that's cool. Great oh, yeah, really cool. I thought so too. Oh, but he showed up. Like real cowboys were not thrilled about that. Oh, oh you don't know say. Get, get he pissed. Get the he fucking was, flyers off your goddamn cowboy hat, son. And uh, they beat him to death. Didn't no, they? he won. <laughs> oh, okay. He came in first. Oh, in the oh, open competition. He absolutely demolished them, came in first. So put a little respect. And then they beat him. On to the death. Hawaiian yeah. Cowboys. All right, thing. get him. 
And uh, uh, it was Montana. I'm sorry. I, th- I thought it was Idaho. It was Montana. It's Even cooler. There. There's, st- there's still a statue of him Hear there that. to this day. Nick I, doesn't believe it. Well, right. Mitch just said that didn't happen. I would love to know happen. what town. I'll get a picture Look of it. Look it up. Look it up. up. I what can't time? remember I'm exactly. I was pretty handy. I, I'm assuming if you Google Hawaiian Cowboy Montana, there won't be any results but the one we're talking about. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty pretty precise. Very specific, yeah. Uh, no, it was an awesome experience, though, man. Absolutely sick. Hell yeah. I would. It's, it's the place to go if anyone's ever looking for, like, oh, I want to go. Like, I don't know what to do. Just go to Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Huh. We stayed at the resort where they filmed Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Pretty nice. sweet. That was awesome. Walking around, just fucking thinking of all the shit in my head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm all this snow. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit, yeah. bullshit, bullshit. As soon as I walked in, I said, I lost the shoe. Have you seen the other? It's like this one's made. Oh, but... look at that. So this is from. How's the flight? When? Did you go to the bar where they sing Dracula? Ooh, that's good. I did not go to that bar, unfortunately. Uh, uh, that's probably is... my number did you, one. Did you go to the <laughs> bar? It says Wyoming. It was uh, in Cheyenne, Mitt. Same thing. Did you go to the bar Wyoming where they is... made the penis out of banana and fruit? Yeah, where that guy, where he's drinking and he's trying to give him the so, pep talk to fuck his you, life. Yep. Did you reenact the happy tears or, sorry, happy tissues or sad tissues? I did reenact happy tissues, sad tissues. I did have tropical drinks with bananas in them. Nice. Was Jonah Hill oh, working? Pal, huh? uh, there was no Jonah Hill work. Damn it. So some of the stuff. Any portly fellas who looked like Jonah Hill? Yeah. No, <laughs> no tubbies. No, okay. not a lot of uh, not a lot of fatso's in Hawaii. Okay. They, they, eat, they eat pretty nice, slim diet of. Okay. Uh, you, you did some really cool stuff that I actually really would want to do. What was your favorite part of Hawaii? Yeah, saw surfing it? dog. That's Whoa. what. Oh, saw dog yeah. surfing. No. Did you pet him? Nah, it was all the way down the other end of the beach, That's and so I didn't want to mess cool. up the vibe. There was like a little kid. Taking surfing lessons with this dog and the instructor. Oh, the dog, oh I the dog was instructor. The there dog pretty was much boy. was in charge. Like the dog was in front of the board, commanding the board. Wow, that's pretty. And sick. the instructor was just kind of on the back, making sure the kid didn't fall off. But it was pretty sick to watch. It was like a, it wasn't a lab, but it was a lab looking type of dog. Sure. Okay. Uh, Maybe a doodle. It was fucking hanging tan out front. Was God, it good? Was it a good boy or? I think it was a girl. I think. Good girl. I could be wrong, or? but it was definitely a good girl. Definitely. Uh, the most impressive surf performance I saw while I was there. Okay. Right. okay. Suck it, Kelly Slater. Yeah. 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 High marks all around. So Hawaii. It's, uh, you know, if you're looking for a vacation. Can't say a bad Go. thing about it. Well, exactly. Except for the allergies. Except for the allergies. Except for the allergies. That was my Except own fault for being, and having a shitty immune system. Yeah. And not Is that immune? allowed to being able to bring back mana. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, uh, but that's, like that's you not bringing back Hawaii. rocks and bugs. They're not cool. Sure. Yeah. Makes sense. I, I mean, told Z I was going to bring them back some lava, and I tried. Did you get some lava, Z? He did, kind of. Lava cake? Sort of. No, I got him uh, uh, from the gift shop, the hotel. I got him some black pepper, and it said lava. On the <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> on the, That's on pretty the, cool. On the container, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, I like that. Uh, any slap dicks in the back out of anything before we get to the pot fog? Another for the right. slap dicks. Um, <coughs> <laughs> okay. Herbie, oh, can, you, Herbie, can you tell us what Mitt said this morning about uh, a particular it? mountain? Oh, somebody asked where... Mount Everest was, and I said, oh, I think it's in Switzerland because I thought it was in the Swiss Alps. See, Sick. Man, here's the thing. You never say, I think. You just say you Switzerland. It Switzerland. jumped up. Switzerland. I said, uh, I think it's because you guys were asking it because it's in two countries, and I said, oh, I think one of them is Switzerland. Surprise. And then what did he just say? Okay. He said, okay. He, he Sometimes said, I get the Swiss Alps and the fucking Rocky Mountains confused. No, no. no. I said, oh, okay, sorry. I didn't know. Tony's going to say the Appalachian Mountains because he thinks it's like the greatest thing of all time. But I said, oh, oh sorry. I didn't, shots fired. I don't he remember. I can not forget. This guy or, couldn't fucking, fucking handle Appalachia. You, you said, sorry, I, no, sorry, I get the Swiss Alps. <laughs> and the Appalachians confused. No, that's not what I said. I said, yeah, uh, uh, where's the actual fucking said. mountain range that I'm Himalayas. talking about? The Himalayas. I said, Himalayas. oh, sorry, I don't know the difference between the Swiss Alps and the Himalayas. You oh. did not, because no. I quickly had to let you know that the uh, Everest was not in whatever mountain range you were talking about either. You the don't Himalayas. say. But that's neither here nor there, Mitt. You're not a fucking mountain guy. None although you were raised in the mountains, right? I was, uh, I was born in Logan, Utah. So yeah. so yeah, so yeah, you were so, raised in the mountains. That's neither here nor there. We don't need to give Mid a tough time for that. He's yeah, he's, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Bruce, Trying where is it actually? Right. It's in Nepal. What's the other country? I believe India. Okay, it's on the border. Go. It's parts of Nepal, parts of India, and I believe parts of Tibet. Yeah. Now let's get to the pot. The fight. Tibetan okay. nationals. Boom. Oh, yeah. We did ask uh, oh, while man. Nick was gone. We said, hey. It's really good. This go, is actually. Go ahead and Photoshop Nick's face. on." Oh, this, this is Photoshopped? 
Well, I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, is this Halloween? I think this is really. Nice. I thought that was fucking a throwback to my senior year of high school. Yeah. It might be, actually. You still got those rings? Can you? Can no. You, can you bring this no. back? Look at that chain. God. God, you looked so cool back then. Nick Fietti. <laughs> yeah. Fietti. <laughs> I really need to start utilizing whip more accessories again. Sauce. Yeah, I agree. Maybe need wear more brass features. Knuckles. Yeah, whatever. Whatever the Italian rings. sweater, we still get them from time to time. You should just start wearing like skull it's, rings and stuff. It's like summer. That. <laughs> it is summer, but maybe we get some nice linens. So this hot too. So what so a UFC championship. Hot. You should start rocking Charlie Sheen's wardrobe. Yeah. Ooh. I do yeah. wear a lot of. And those. by Charlie Sheen, I mean Charlie Harper. Okay. Sure. Bryce's like, brother. Like Hawaiian shirts. No, nah, they're more like... Uh, I do wear a lot of those bowling shirts. Bowling Everyone shirts, says, yeah. oh, those are yeah. Charlie Sheen shirts. I was like, I was thinking Tony Sprano, but I get it. They are. They work for it. both. Yeah, they, they work for both. Yeah. I thought about uh, bleaching my hair again while I was out there. There's so many dudes just walking around, just sweet, long, bleached blonde hair. I've That's thought about doing that, so too. So many surf bros just I living. I really want to. Just living. Mitt, didn't you had bleached hair for a while? MGK. Yeah. Point, uh, That's right. Gonna, yep. I I was looking back at my Instagram and the Super Bowl two years ago, the way my hair was with bleach tips so on sick, only dude. part of it was actually pretty sweet. Did you do sun in or lemon juice or how'd you do it? Yeah, ammonia. Uh, no, legitimate bleach. Are you scared that uh, the last time you had bleach hair and I drove you to Nick's, you threw up and that maybe that's why that <laughs> bleach hair? Is that Nick's or my house? No, that was uh, to, to Tony's, excuse me, yes. That was I didn't Tony's know if it was two and, separate uh, occasions. Uh, I think there might have been another time, but I don't think I was driving that time. Oh, but Billy puked your car, too. Yeah, Billy too. Yeah, that's because Bill had 85 shish kebabs, so that's not my, <laughs> that's I not might my have had, shish kebab. I might death. have went out before Tony's thing and had 85 shots. I was a little immature. That was two years ago. It was, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was two years ago. You shouldn't do that, Mitt. Okay. But hey, hey, that's how you learn. That is how you learn. Lesson learned. And mischief managed. Shout out to fucking Nick Fietti and his skull rings. Shout out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Next. Breaking news. North Korean tyrant Kim Jong-un is now a 308-pound insomniac in a vicious cycle of smoking and boozing. What's breaking about this? Yeah, I don't know. I um, thought this has always been Kim. He's one of the greatest cigarette smokers of all time. Yes, Absolutely. He is. Unfortunately, uh, oh, it's an artist art situation. Uh, the Marlboro Man uh, doesn't put him up there on his Mount Rushmore. Nope. So you think he's smoking Reds? Some people put him on their Mount. <laughs> yeah, that one looks doctored because I thought Rushmore. he was smoking uh, unfiltered cigs, and that one looks like has a filter on it. Why would so. they? Well, and is he smoking American right? cigs? Because American probably cigs. he does love imports. He does. He doesn't let anybody else have them. I thought but. America okay. was the only country that made cigarettes. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> are you see- oh. what? No, 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 no. What are you, are you sure? No, uh, Marlboro is actually the only company that makes cigarettes. Bruce, Bruce, uh, Bruce England. brings back Croatian cigs and they're fire. Are yeah. they? Yes. I'm pretty sure yes. European are cigs are still going strong. Yeah, unfiltered? Are they unfiltered? I don't know. No. Sure a lot of people roll their own cigarettes in uh, Europe true. is what my brother told me because he was in London for a while. That is true. He, was, he liked to smoke cigarettes. True. Pipes much bigger so they, they in just, They just have Marlboro Gold. I don't really know what it is. I don't know what's different about it, but they are better. They are so oh, good. Oh, still Marlboro? Yeah, yeah. Still Marlboro. It's just Marlboro Europe Division or whatever, and oh, it's wow. delightful. And then they have, uh, there's a Turkish. Oh, yeah, the Turkish. There's a Tur- Turkish, Turkish cigarette Turkish. as well. Why, if you're Excuse if you're smoking cigarettes, why are you rolling your own cigarettes? They buy, like, you can just So, like, save, basically. Yeah, let's right, right, cool Not everyone's cool fucking privileged, like, dude. I think it's, like, $3 for that bag of tobacco yeah. last year for a week and a half. And it's, like, 30 cigs, yeah. Some people like to taste more, Mitt. It does taste better, and they do hit harder. Some people like to just chill and fucking... Relax and exactly. roll. I face. went through. I that rolled my own cigs for a question. couple of years. Not everyone's buying fucking American spirits, Mitt. Okay, uh, yeah. not Which, everyone can I mean, afford you know a seventeen dollar pack of cigarettes. Well, I mean, the thing about gonna... the spirits though is bang for your buck. Oh, you yeah. can smoke four spirits and watch Interstellar twice. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the ratio we're looking yep. at with American spirits. I can see the appeal. Absolutely, yeah. and you look super cool on the sidewalk, walking while you're rolling a cigarette, not caring about spilling all your tobacco. Yeah, that is that is cool and very difficult to do that. I don't know <laughs> how. Difficult. I don't know. I don't know how they do. Well, you have to. You have to just be perfect at the pinch. Like if you can pinch and put the exact amount of tobacco you need in the cigarette, and then you can put the pack away. 
then it's possible. But it's very hard to pinch the right amount. Yeah, you Because if you do too little, then it sucks. You do too much, then you're spilling everywhere. When yeah. I worked at a restaurant in college, I had a buddy who was also a line cook, and he would uh, he would roll his own, and sometimes he'd put weed in there with the tobacco. Oh, and oh you mean a little split? split, 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 split yeah. And then other times he'd just split, roll a J and smoke it on a smoke break. So he was, was split, split, split splaffs taking a bath? No Bingo. one really tell this split, 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 Junior? Tell you what, you want to go to the moon. I did a couple of uh, <laughs> spliff water pipes every now and then. Oh, when yeah. I'd be running low oh, in yeah. uh, college. My God, would those fuck me up. Yeah. Did that at the pub. Yeah. Oh, man. That's mm-hmm. honestly the only reason did why not I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, had a, I had a snap face in the about? binger, yeah. too. Snap, that's what they call them. Yeah, yeah, chops. Yeah. Other people call them chops. chops. Same yeah, thing. There it is. yeah, that's the only reason why I know American Spirits. And I did forget that those bags are cheaper than dog shit. Still good though. How much oh, does yeah. dog shit cost? Uh, I don't know. Definitely fucking more expensive than American Spirit. Depends what dog. Yeah, you're right. You know, true. What kind of Mine's, treat uh, you're giving? Zeke's got a guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, got a guy. So 30, 30. Well, if you trimmed the fucking weeds in the corner. <laughs> if I trimmed it, it would be nine dollars a month. But I, I stay at the premium thirty five. I don't blame you. I respect. I don't blame you. Smart after a long winter. Yep. Shout out to Kim Jong Un for being a uh, fat slob still and just smoking and boozing. Yep. Consistency. Yep. Next, uh, fast food chains with the most locations in the U.S. Any surprises here? No. Yeah, at the risk of sounding like an asshole, what the fuck is Hunt Brothers Pizza? I had wow. to do the same that thing is... and look it up. It is uh, gas station pizza. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, uh, so doesn't really That's count. Kind of cheating. Yeah. I was a little shocked by Jimmy John's. I don't I know was, why. I... You know what? Two thousand I... stores is kind of shocking to me. Starbucks having more than McDonald's honestly surprises me. See, that doesn't. But well, Subway having more than Starbucks. So though. the only reason I knew Subway and Starbucks was because of business class. The rest of them, well, aside they from teach Hunt you Brothers. that at your fancy business school. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they did. They certainly did. And then I said, I need to get out of here. Uh, the only thing, Nick hit it. Hunt Brothers, and then also. I had honestly never heard of it. Well, I looked at that ever. logo. I was like, is that made up? What is that? Only 2,900 Chick fil A's. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought there might be more Chick fil A's. We also need to 10x how many Jersey mics there are. Yes. Oh, my God. Hey, they're, now. They're, they're newer. They're younger. I love. Well, Jersey Mike's. Look out. If, if you're not on Jersey no, 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 Mike's no. right now, look out because it's coming and there's nothing it's stopping. Not they enough. take no prisoners. There's no, not they don't. Duncans either. I, I compl- that's because it's fucking Midwest. Connor, also, when, did you have Chick fil A's around you growing up? Not like, really, no. Doesn't no. Say, I don't think and I didn't get them I, until no. we got it was, them in like high school. I didn't know they were oh, that's yeah. thing until after I didn't high know that Chick fil A was a thing. Also, I mean, I was living in fucking. Logan, Utah, but I didn't know Chick Fil A was a thing until I moved to Atlanta in second grade, and obviously it started in Atlanta. And then I think since then it's Chick Fil A was founded in everywhere. Guess when Chick Fil A was founded? When? 1967. They they have it up on like all the things. I mean, I don't think there's any coincidence. 1922. I don't think there's any coincidence that Chick Fil A was founded the year after fucking we became back-to-back World War champions. Wow. What? Yes. 45? Wow. 46. Holy wow. shit. You're right. Technically, Somebody came BJ back with a good idea. 45. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, dirty. with that being said, you know, on June 6th. Happy D-Day. Happy it D-day. was founded D-day. before D-day. McDonald's. That's crazy. Yeah, that's why. Nuts. You know what killed them? Was that whole Sunday thing. Yeah. I think it, that's why the Northeast didn't get the expansion that everybody was looking for. Yeah, yeah, more of a Bible Belt. Yeah, we exactly. definitely didn't get any until I was out of high school. Either. I know that there. It was a big deal. When I don't we came remember. There is one. I don't Chick-fil-A. even remember in Connecticut in college, Bruce. That's what I was just gonna say. It, it was it was far away, and we still cared in high school. It was like an hour and a half from my high school, and we were like, "Oh my God, Chick Fil A!" Right. Yeah, they put a Krispy Kreme and a Chick Fil A in in the same shopping Ooh. center. Uh, That's diesel. They're on ninety nine teenage years, and that was pretty um, sick. Imagine if they would just do one Sunday a month. They open up and they and then you make it to like a holiday. Yeah, I, dude, I was how at, well that would. Bro, be. I was at the they air- drive six fucking hours in Montana to go to Kalispell to go to the only Chick Fil A in the entire state. It's Those people are dipshits. Yeah, yeah. Her- Herbie would do that. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I was at the airport on Sunday and everything was open, obviously except for the Chick Fil A, and it was just ridiculous. Yeah, 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 Bruce. Right, every Sunday, Chick Fil A is closed. Yeah. No, I I know, but in the food court airport setting, it like oh, yeah. it sticks out like a store thumb. It's 
bullshit. I know. Also, I don't love how little Culver's there are in the uh, United States. Uh, we no could idea probably Culver's get Culver's was a thing until I moved out here. Yeah, yeah it's, man, that's a I've Midwest. Seen, I've never had it. Should I go to Culver's? Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. Yeah. Go to get yourself a, a butter burger. Get yourself a fucking butter burger and with curds custard. and fries, it's and then finish it off with a custard. Go ahead, get some onions while you're at it. Might as well. And a custard. Excuse my naivete. Is like, a milkshake? No, nah, it's like ice no. cream. Okay. Yeah. It's like a it's like a better blizzard. Quite the son of a bitch, aren't you? It's like a blizzard, but Thicker it's consistency. Not, yeah. It's not ice cream. We could yeah. probably do about three thousand less Sonics. Sonic no, sucks. No, 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 no. We need more Sonics, dude. No, no I've never been to Sonic. Thirty-five hundred Sonic sucks. I've never had their taters. There's Fuck one Sonic. fucking yeah, Sonic had in the It's so also good. horrible. If you, <laughs> you got to go down south. Sonic is like if I think you should leave at a brick and mortar. <laughs> it kind of is. The only good thing about Sonic is when you see He's one of those fake videos every running. once in a while of someone yeah. coming out on skates and eating shit. Just like spilling a, everything. Exactly. Zeke, didn't you work at a Cold Stone? <laughs> I did, yeah. Uh, did you beef awesome. with Baskin Robbins while you were there? No. Uh, they're kicking your ass. Yeah, holy shit. I will tell you, I do like all the options you get, but Cold Stone is just way stuff, better yeah. consistency. You yeah, think? The like Baskin Robbins has been like doing that a long time. Yeah, I, I know they have, but nothing... Birthday cake remix will beat any. So there's not enough any ends. No. No, no, there's not. I'm surprised by how many there are. They're always there when you need them, though. They like. are always there when you need them. Well, well said, big time Irma. gas station. They are well placed. How yeah. many malls do you think are in America? Obviously, seven. it's probably that number, right? It might be seven left. Yeah. I don't know. How many do you think per state? Three. Three malls Three per, malls state. per <laughs> state. Uh, how many malls are in Indianapolis? <laughs> Three. <laughs> I, I like where your head's at though. Sorry, right, my head was in the whole Montana boat of like, okay, there's one fucking mall here, so there's probably like three. Yeah, no. there, are, there are over 100,000 malls. In that's America. what I was going to say. I, I was going to guess 75,000. Gotta respect. Uh, I think that Simon Fellow owns basically all. He does. <clears throat> Gotta respect. Garfunkel? Panda Express. The guy who owns, yeah, from the Indy. Chinese who owns the Indy. <laughs> <laughs> Panda Express having the Chinese on lock. And Long John Silver still holding down seafood. Long John Silver. Long John Silver. What does it say there? I mean, when was the last time you. It's, it's, it's so small. Better than Long John Silver. When was the last time you actually 100 saw a real Long John Silver? 587. That's a problem, folks. Like, Long John Silver's open. We had a, I went to a college that had literally eight restaurants. Long John Silver's also, closed. Also, let's be I mean. Cadoba, is that 700? Yeah. yeah. 737. Is, is that a local yeah, never company? Had it before. This is wrong. Cadoba is. There's, I've never had it before I came here. What the fuck? Cadoba? Ty's never had Cadoba. I'm a Cadoba over yeah. Chipotle guy. Same. You've never had Cadoba? Uh, no, I just used that. I got Herbie's ass because he got uh, chips and queso from Qdoba, and I said, oh, I didn't know they did <laughs> <laughs> chips and queso. Can I try these? And you also did that to me a couple months ago. You st- yeah, Chick Fil A. He said, Fuck. "So good." Chick Fil A chicken that? nuggets. These are fucking it, good. Yeah, and it was like, "Yeah, they're fucking gas." Do you remember <laughs> when uh, As I every day one. for lunch, Bill was ordering like uh, uh, Chipotle catering? Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, oh and then yeah. making yeah. burritos. Make your own tacos. He was eating like three burritos a day. <laughs> yeah, I never knew you could order that size from Chipotle until Bill did. <laughs> yeah, meal prep life hack. That was awesome. It's much cheaper than ordering a burrito individually. It was a life hack, I will say. <laughs> it was. Does anyone else like uh, Moe's? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I had yeah. it last night. Welcome to Moe's. I'm a Ponchero's guy, yeah, personally. Wow. Moe's has the, uh, what's that thing called? It's called a stack. I yes, know. the stack. It's so good. So good. What is it? Extra it's chicken. Like a, it's like a better Crunchwrap Supreme. Yes. What? Wow, yes. that is cheese, high praise. Yeah. Tortilla, it's circle, real. more cheese, chicken, cheese, cheese. I still like more chicken. Bun, burger. <laughs> Close it up. <laughs> burger, 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 burger. Then burger. you, free, you fry bun. cheese on top of it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. come on. No, no, that's no, how you it, seal it's it. a game changer. A I remember the first time I had it, I was like, okay, this is one of the better things I've ever had. I might got to be a try cheese that. fan, though. Okay. Wow. All right, well, this is, a good, this is a good little list. Let's yeah. go next. I'm starving. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, yeah. Oh, no. Here we go. Not good yes. if you're a fatso watching this. <laughs> Airline to weigh passengers before they board flights. And oh, I don't no. know if this is just a New Zealand thing or what. But I think it might be Air New Zealand. Although I have Thank no you, idea. Or they just picked a photo. That's a bridge, that's a bridge right too far. No. They're going too far. No. no, they needed to do this like years ago. They weigh the bags. Yeah. If they my bag, it. yeah. Yeah, they do it for smaller. If my uh, bag's got to be under fifty New pounds. New someone's I waiting mean, four eighty. <laughs> yeah. New Zealand's Civil Aviation Authority is asking that its national airline weigh passengers departing on international flights from Auckland International Airport through July second. Damn. 
That's through July second. So they they've just had one fat slob who keeps showing up, <laughs> and just ruining everything. Well, and the other thing is, uh, actually, my sister's abroad in New Zealand. Oh, really? And she said, "Don't call are, her that." There are a lot of <laughs> uh, that was crazy. Uh, there are a lot of fat Americans there right now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so she said, "Hey, oh, there's so a they're ton to, of fat Americans." Yeah, they're trying to crack down on Doing the what? fat. Just hanging out. No, studying in school. And it's like. Hey, if you're a fatso, come there's to just New people Zealand. from all over the country that choose New Zealand. She was like, "I'll tell you what, I've never been to Indiana, but I think I know what it's about." <laughs> 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 like, yep, you yeah. probably do. Oh, yeah, it's great. All right, well, yeah, if you're fucking trying to fly from Auckland to New York, uh, maybe you know, lose a couple lbs. <laughs> That'd be smart. Or, yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't be flying anywhere. Spending twenty hours on an airplane uh, the past week, I think. The main thing that we need to focus on is more of like uh, human competency. I don't need, think we need to worry about weight so much. Okay. I Fair. think there should be some type of uh, IQ competence, test. intelligence test, maybe, to focus on one way or uh, selecting travelers. I, I got bum rushed on the way off the plane on again on on Sunday. So like it was you know the first class getting up, getting out, and then it was my turn, and then the lady just ran right you know wow parallel with me. And I had to go reach back and get my bag. It's like you could have just wow, waited five seconds. What a horror seconds. story! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yeah. worse. I'm she just talking. She, she might have had a connecting flight she needed to why catch. Why didn't up. you? That's not my problem. Why didn't you? Why wasn't? Did you not get on the flight in time and have your bag over top of your seat? Uh, no. So I was the first row of the main cabin behind sure. first class. So the seat was just Smart. like a little bit ahead gotcha. of the beginning of the main uh, cabin. Yeah, you got to get up and get in it. You got to get, get that fucking fair. bag. You yeah, that, yeah, that, there's down. nothing worse than your bag being overhead a couple rows back. Yeah, that's when oh, you have to be God. an asshole and stand up as soon as they <laughs> take the seatbelt off. Yep. Yeah, that's you gotta the be only reason you should. Yeah. You live and you learn, Bruce. That's right. I, I won two retro bowls as well. Oh. <laughs> I love Bruce. Believe you're still fucking playing <laughs> that. still playing retro bowls. Oh, I'm hammering it, boys. Jesus. Next! Wow. Smells like potential, and this is apparently just what a, the Ted Lasso season four without Ted Lasso. They are potentially talking about a spinoff. I could see it. I mean, why not? Man, you what, do you, what do you call it? Richmond, right? Yeah. Richmond. Yeah, I don't they think already, so. They already have the Twitter account, too. I think you fast forward five years and do Ted Lasso's kids playing in the EPL. Yeah, but his cool. kid's a goofy looking son of a bitch with big old teeth. That's if he fine. Scored you know, the other that kid gonna play in the- so many goofy. Could be an ugly duck type of story. It's a, fi- it's a fiction. Who cares? Also, his kid's the fucking reason he went home. Yeah. So when his boy's like, it's time to go to fucking EPL. And then he joins Richmond. And then they fulfill the destiny and win the Premier League. I would follow a show based around Roy Kent. So would oh, I. I would definitely so would watch. I. It's just not it's not to last. His character time. development has been Fucking unbelievable. Have you yeah. seen the actor like speak on interviews? Yeah. When he's not doing the Roy Kent voice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it was shocking. Yeah, he's he a does, weapon. He does not sound uh, his voice. Not <laughs> that deep. <laughs> no, it is <laughs> not at all. No, it is. He doesn't sound like uh, a hell of an actor. Sergeant uh, Soap <laughs> McTavish. <laughs> Enemy UAVs all like that. Yeah. Uh, Captain Price. Oh, that was sick. One other quick Hawaii note. When we were taking that helicopter tour, we were flying over this little village of empty buildings, and they were like, oh, yeah, this is where the U.S. military trains black ops. Oh, And they just have, like, this random uh, village of, like, ten buildings and then, like, another offshoot with, like, two big warehouses completely abandoned that. uh, He's like, sometimes you'll see the troops running through uh, the drills down there, and there wasn't anyone doing it when we were there. I was like, this is fucking sweet. Yeah, tell them to come out. Do the fucking drill. Weapons hot. There's an (laughs) island across from Maui. And it was, like, desolate, and we were, like, wondering why, and we asked some guide or something, and apparently they used to drop nuclear bombs over there to oh, practice. Yeah, dude, it's yeah. where they made Godzilla. How do you, how do you, uh, think, how do you think Godzilla fucking came to be? That's, that's, yeah, that was, really that's true. Right? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Man, part of that storyline, I forgot. All right, next. I mean, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm in. Uh, Somebody said this. Unfortunately, oh, no. Georgia lost more than 90% of this year's peach crop after abnormally warm weather this winter and a late season freeze. No, Absolutely no. devastating. This is devastating. I love sucks. Georgia peaches. Love them. Oh, <laughs> get enough of them. Yeah. 90% feels like a fuck ton of peach. That's, That's a lot. Feel like for most of it feels like we're going to have a peach shortage. Like, yeah, is this going to be a thing? Like, there was the egg shortage. There will be People were freaking out. I would assume. I mean, I lived in Atlanta, and I, that was the first time I ever tried a fucking peach. It was awesome. I've never had a better one. 
I had a peach tree in my backyard. It was so cool. Oh, yeah. I'm peach so sorry about this. Yeah, I, uh, th this is one of those ones where, you know, I could give a fuck. Oh, yeah, it's not going to affect me. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, not Until I find out that something I really enjoy somehow along the way has peaches in it. Sure, yeah, sure. until I can't think. get a fucking warm slice of peach cobbler next time I want one. <laughs> yeah. Next I know, I'm trying to, to think. Like, yeah, I exactly. My peach cobbler. I'm going to fucking kill somebody. <laughs> I get my peaches out in Georgia. That's that shit. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't even think off the top of my head one thing that I'll be affected by. You like peach tea? Nope. Oh, that's good. Peach tea is good. <laughs> Snapple <laughs> peach tea? Yeah. I don't think they use real. They definitely don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love peach dumplings. Peach dumplings? What the fuck what? is a what? peach dumpling? <laughs> peach dumpling. I had two times in my life. I loved them both times. <laughs> it sounds about really good. Like a like a Chinese peach dumpling? Uh, I don't know how it's made, but is it it's called peach. Yeah, is it a dumplings. dessert? Yeah. Peach dumplings. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what they, they do is they, uh, what's the cracker? Um, Ritz? Uh, no. Uh, Club? Chicken in a biscuit? No, Salt no, teams? no. It's a uh, wafer. Wafer. Mm. They crush oh, up a wafer. wafer. Oh, vanilla wafer. Outside. Yes. Now you're talking. That's a peach wow. dumpling. I hate yeah. mm. But yep. with the dumpling what, part. Vanilla wafer? You hate yeah. peaches? Oh, vanilla hey, wafers? What? Yeah. What's the hate? Yeah, why do you hate it? Yeah, they're just vanilla crackers, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of with you. I mean, it has been it's kind of bland. Oh, what I about get, a vanilla? Yeah, I love 35. a good vanilla. Oh, it's probably ever... been 25 years since I've had What about a, a good wafer? banana pudding with <laughs> In what world are you eating banana pudding? What about a good <laughs> chocolate muffin? All these things I haven't eaten in so long. That's, where <laughs> are you? Banana pudding? Well, when Ty and I go to Perkins every Sunday, he gets exactly. peach cobbler. I get a peach cobbler. He gets banana pudding. What are we supposed to do now? Yeah. Maybe an apple tartlet. You guys sound eight or from eight where? Speaking tell. of caramel apple tartlet, <laughs> yes. from yes. where? It's not hate to do it, but here's the truth, guys. Everyone knows it. Dads want beef. Love the beef. Love beef. It's Father's Day, damn it. And when I say I beef, I mean steak. What? When you give dad perfectly aged and oh so tender beef. You're not just giving him the best meal of his life. No, you're, you're not, giving no. him the chance to grill them up and share that moment with you. Yeah. First time he said. You know, Connor, I love you. So I gave him beef. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Good. He'll never forget it. I never will. Herbie, what do you get the dad who has everything? Some goddamn steaks. Beef, you Herbie. Know. Beef, Herbie. Beef, boy. Beef. beef. We said beef. <laughs> beef. Beef. Fell beef. For a limited time, when you go to omahasteaks.com and enter the code the pod into the search bar, you'll be able to order the dad's favorite gift package for just ninety nine ninety nine. That's Beef. it. That's it. Okay, but you're not just getting the dad's favorite oh, gift no, package. No, you know no. what else you're getting? No, tell me. Eight free Omaha steak burgers made of the finest beef. 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 These burgers taste like steak on a bun, for Christ's yeah, sake. Yeah, they do. And beef. they're also ultra lean, but they're going to pack a bold intensely beefy flavor. And that's key. And that's Because if it doesn't have the beefy flavor, I don't want Why it. am I eating no. it? Exactly. Beef. Save over 60% on the dad's favorite grill pack, and you're going to get four bacon wrap filets. Wow. Holy what? shit. Four premium air-chilled boneless chicken breasts. What? Four boneless pork chops. What? Four gourmet jumbo franks. What? Jumbo? And, uh, you know, if you can't find uh, some Beef. gobbler, yeah. you got a little bit of a sweet tooth. That's right. You're getting four made from scratch caramel apple tartlet. Yeah. Sign me up. Sign yeah. me up. Not to mention the Omaha steak seasoning packet that everybody loves. They're sending seasoning too. They're sending seasoning. Holy Sprinkle a little shit. bit of that Omaha steak seasoning. On. Exactly. Oh. Gonna get that nice and incorporated. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you're getting all that plus eight free Omaha steaks burgers for. Just ninety nine ninety nine. Wow. Remember, gifting is easy. Dads want beef. Beef. Okay. They'll tell you, hey, I want a tie. I want this bullshit. I want that bullshit. Wrong. They want beef. 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 Omaha Steaks isn't just beef. It's the best beef, beef. of your life. Love it. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed beef. <laughs> Visit OmahaSteaks.com and type the pod in the search bar to order the dad's favorite grill pack today for just ninety nine ninety nine. Plus, get eight. Free burgers. That's a with lot your of order. beef. That's a lot of fucking beef. beef. Bruce, do you think they don't like that I say beef instead of steak? <laughs> um, uh, no. I okay. Great. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Is that what it was the whole time? <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs>
So, <laughs> <laughs> so Apple released yesterday that they got a thirty-five hundred uh, dollar pair of ski goggles that are their new VR things, and a lot of people are saying you can see the driving crooner like never before. We said last week if you haven't watched, I think you should leave. Treat yourself to the driving crooner. <laughs> Gonna make some money off this. <laughs> uh, missed opportunity for not having a website. For the decals to buy. We did check this morning. There is no driving crooner. Oh. Could you imagine how many cars out there would have that? I don't think that many, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would say more than McDonald's in the world. People love Tim Robinson. Uh, they do. They do. And I would they think do. about putting it on my is car. Is he currently the universe's most liked human? Yeah, he, he might be. He's, he's, up bringing, there. he's bringing everybody together. Uh, there was that story that Nick sent in about the spaghetti thing. So good. Bolognese? Oh, I'm eating this spicy spaghetti. Doing an interview. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Bolognese, he's just, he's just a nut job. <laughs> yeah, he's a wacko. Yeah, he's a wacko. Like and that, when I read that, it was a skit. He he literally lives in skits. Yeah. Speaking of spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, which I don't think he was eating. Now that it's summer, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for sunny, active days. That's, I am. That's crazy. You know what that. you're going to need for that? Factor Meals. Hell yeah. Oh, wow. The number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Boy, oh boy, do we Feed love them. Love them. Love, love Factor. What are you, what's your favorite meal? Well, everybody knows my favorite meal is the fucking delicious spaghetti bolognese. Mm -hmm. God I'm a lemon chicken it. guy. Extra that's spicy. not all they have. They offer uh, flavor-packed options on the menu each week, from keto to calorie smart to vegan and veggie and protein plus. See, that's good business. That's yeah, good. Right. That is good business. Yeah, having all those options. It is, isn't it? Because people have different dietary needs. Exactly. They do. In a lot like of places. Mitt only eats candy. Bingo. <laughs> I, actually, I don't know if they have that option, I but actually they should. do eat factor meals, and they're very fucking good. Yeah, Mitt Hell was yeah. hammering a factor meal today. That's actually, I was good. trying to read something, and all I could hear was, <laughs> Factor's the best. <laughs> The meals, are ready. Eating fact. the meals are ready in just two minutes, and they're delivered right to your fucking door. And they're, yeah, and they're delicious. Uh, this June, get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your Hell meals yeah. and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash thepod50 and use code thepod50 to get 50% off your first box. You said that's 50%. crazy. Yeah, that's code the pod fifty at factormeals.com slash the pod fifty to get fifty percent off your first box. Hell yeah. I cannot emphasize that's enough how zero. good their fucking spaghetti bolognese is. Yeah. yeah, I can't emphasize enough how much I love that freaking chicken. Oh my god. Oh, it's fresh. Off to it. so Mitt, fresh. Mitt, that's what's your difference? favorite factor meal? Uh probably the chicken taco bowl. No, that's mine. Ooh. What's so your pick a new one? That's his. Uh Actually, the steak's pretty solid. Yep. Uh, mm, Mitt, Mitt, like, Mitt, we're already mm. trying to sell steaks here. <laughs> <laughs> pick, pick a different one. Pick Mitt. a different one. Don't you but, like the spinach I, artichoke <laughs> or something? I, yeah, what I had today was like, a, it was like fucking some type of chicken. It was seasoned really well. I have no clue. I still what? like chicken. chicken. That's mine. He likes the chicken. <laughs> That's mine. All right, that's enough. Next. <laughs> Captain America 4 has just surprisingly changed its title with a first look at leading man, Tony. Anthony Mackie. Wow. Shout out man. Tony Dahl Whoa. and Harrison Ford together Harrison on set. Harrison Ford's in this? Yeah. Tony, why are you grinding your teeth right now? Let's go. Well, no, 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 no. no. Let's not fucking forget. I made the Careful change when he one. had his leading man moment. You did. I Which had was? a completely legitimate case. Until he had his leading man moment. Mm -hmm. Which was? If the, hold on, if the director from uh, A Love Story can tell Gosling that he's not a leading man. Yep. A the Love Story? The Notebook. Uh oh. I can make a case that Anthony Mackie, before his leading man moment. What was it? <laughs> leading man. Uh, he was, it was, oh, what was the show? Come on, you can do he this. He was on a boat. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, his family on the family boat. Family owned the boat with his yeah, sister. Boat. And then he gave a speech about Aww. <laughs> being Captain America. That was his leading man moment. You hit the show here. You can do this. You can do it. It was a show, correct? Yes. I don't remember what show this was. You didn't watch it? Yeah. Oh, no. so it's one of the... It's a Disney Plus yep. series, wasn't it? Yep. Come on, Tony. <laughs> what was he before Captain America? Oh, a flying. Mm -hmm. Yes, but what was his Let's Robinson. say he wasn't a hot guy. Bijan Robinson. Long, long. Yeah, the Longhorn long and 
Long Longhorn and the Fox. Fox. <laughs> Falcon and the hmm, yeah. Falcon. The Falcon. And the <laughs> Winter Soldier. Bam! Yeah. Good job. Also, if you've seen the uh, the memes about oh. allegedly Hulk Hogan not being happy about this. <laughs> they and changed it from uh, Captain America New World Order and the Hulkster was <laughs> peeved, brother. Oh, is that what it's Those called? Those Hulkster memes. That's what it was called, Captain America New World Order. Oh. What else happened recently that Hulkster memes were just all over the place? What else hasn't happened? True. Hulkster memes True. Yeah. All over the place. Hulkster's hot right now like he always has been. Everyone knows yeah. it. Amen. All right, next. Oh my God! Oh yeah, oh. this this those shark oh board mini so tater good. tot cheeseburgers have been floating around, and Ooh. boy, do they look oh, absolutely yeah. What's delectable. The on that? What's the white stuff? Uh, it's probably like a mayo uh, uh, ranch. Yeah, right. I don't care. It looks unbelievable. Um, it's gonna be good. I have a quick objection. I, okay, oh, Bruce, oh. I, Bruce, I think we're on the same page yeah, here. This is an hors d'oeuvre. This isn't a charcuterie board. Oh, I'll give you that. Although a charcuterie <laughs> board is an hors d'oeuvre. Okay, yeah, we are not on the same page. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, how like how it. difficult is it to just cook like a pea sized burger? Well, we're not we're not doing this. This is awesome. This is, <laughs> it is. This I, is, yeah, just, this is awesome. I, you just put it on, <laughs> flip it, and then take it off. Yeah, yeah you get a tiny spatula, and you have to flip a <laughs> hundred pea sized burgers individually. No, no, no. I, I'm saying time wise. Like, do you just two seconds? Like, if you were putting a hundred on. Do you put one on, and then by the time you put, like, 50 on, do you go back yeah, and start real, flipping? The real problem is thawing them out. Cooking them is so, easy. You, it takes a lot of So to answer your question, cheese, too. I recently made, cheese, uh, cheese it makes sense. I recently made a whole bunch of grilled shrimp mm -hmm. on the grill, and you do have the issue where you fucking put that first shrimp down, and then yeah. you fucking lay them all down. And by the time you got, got that last shrimp down, you do go... I did go back to the first shrimp and flip that one. It, I mean, it's... it's I'll tell you this. The easy way to smaller. do it right away... Just put a skewer inside like like ten of them. Okay. And you can flip like that. Good. I was gonna suggest. Have you ever thought about putting down one big scrimp <laughs> and cutting it up? I would have loved. Yes. Oh, that's how you I do it. Loved. No, no, no. That, that, that makes more sense. sense. That's, that's definitely. We're gonna need a that's bigger definitely scrimp. Definitely how you do that. But yeah. I would have loved to. <laughs> if I could get a big old scrimp that big, yeah, I'd just do get that. Some prawns, dude. Oh, prawns are pretty good. Prawns are decent size, big, and pretty good. Bread. They are decent size. Baby. Anytime you give me a potato as my bread, I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing with this. Couldn't you accomplish the same thing and save so much time by just making a big old mess of sloppy tots and just pouring yeah. some meat on top with some pickles and this cheese? This is special, True, not It does look nice. Yeah, I get nice. it. Definitely. Sloppy tots this or sloppy, nice. sloppy I mean, I, steaks? I, I would annihilate <laughs> yes. It's all about the layering. I like Let's this, slop them so. up! <laughs> <laughs> slop them up! I do, I do like how it says, I'm high and this is charcuterie. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Herbo, next time you get a charcuterie board, I'm going to need you to make about 50 of these. <laughs> yes. Sound, so, hey, is that something you could do? We'll get you a little spatula, too. I mm -hmm. could. I could. I could make it happen. Could you? <laughs> could you really, or are you just <laughs> fucking yeah, saying could that? Could you, Don't or are you just you trying to impress? I mean, I just cooked some steak the other night. So. Steak? Oh. How good was your steak? <laughs> was it sloppy? <laughs> what was the internal temperature? It was beautiful. Did it you make like it a, like uh, someone? I like, I like mine uh, medium, so it was like medium, was medium rare. Pussy! USDA <laughs> primer. <laughs> Did you make it like someone uh, who made a steak this weekend as well? Or? Oh, my God. <laughs> How'd you make it? I, I cooked it in a, a pan at my house. Okay, so not an air fryer. Cast iron? iron? Wait, who yes, made it cast air iron? Fryer? Gotta go cast iron. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. Need some, yeah, we'll I later. only season it with like salt and pepper right now. I need to get some of that Brock Lesnar's uh, seasoning. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Really good. Uh, I, got some yeah. out, I got some out here. Do you want it? Yeah. Just fucking kidding. It's mine. <laughs> I'll never Loser. give away the seasoning. It's too good. It's these good. do look delicious, but the uh, amount of time it would take to prepare these is not worth the payoff. No, no. We aren't making these. Yeah, absolutely this not. Yeah. Unless Herbie wants that. They're Unless there. Herbie wants Yeah, Herbie, you are, though, right? Yeah. I got time. I mean, also, I happen. Uh, Herbie only served them to us on that sweet uh, slab stone yeah. serving plate <laughs> okay. there. It's like a floor Don't tile. Even think about bringing them out on like a wooden fucking cutting board. By the way, very underrated. Oh, the tomatoes they're using on these. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but oh, perfectly rounded tomato. small ones. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are those little cherry tomatoes. Uh, Herbie, also, before you serve these to us, make sure you put your hand flat on the uh, cast iron grill like it looks like this guy did because <laughs> yes. his yeah. hands are disgusting. Also, don't forget so to warm, crust, yeah. warm up the slab, too, so they stay hot and oh, ready. Yep. Oh, yeah. that's a nice yep. touch. And the pickles better be nice and dark. Yeah, and yeah. Dark crispy. Uh, you know what? Make us milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Connor almost pooped his pants when yeah. he learned that uh, Vin Diesel actually voiced the Iron Giant. Come on. 
I didn't know that either. Come on. I mean, talk about range. This is one of the greatest movies of our generation. I don't care what category you want to put the Iron Giant in. It's not one of my top 50. Me neither. Animated. Me neither. Wow. Kid, it, was a, it was after your time. doesn't matter. It's yeah. all the same. It was after your time, though. Yep. What time frame? Because I've never seen it. Yeah, exactly. Boom. You were You were too young. They were too old. It's yeah. me and Bruce's time frame. Yeah. So I, it does make sense. I mean, I, I couldn't I tell you a lick about it. I, mean, I, <laughs> yeah. I remember exactly. I, I remember the guy it. coming on down the hill made of electrical, <laughs> electrical shit, yeah. and he was a nice guy. It was like that other movie with uh, all the appliances, like toaster yeah. and a vacuum. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yep, about? I it's do. like that where I, I remember it, but I don't remember what I, I remember loving it deeply, but I don't fucking exactly. remember what was going on. Exactly. It's like all dogs go to heaven. Yeah, classic. Bingo. Classic. classic. Couldn't tell you Did what happened. Did you have happens. a cameo in Ready Player One? Who? Vin, Vin the Diesel Iron from? Giant did. Yeah, Herbie. Yeah. Who didn't? Yeah, the Iron Giant That's was true. used at the end to fight Godzilla. Because what? what? Never? Yeah. Never? You guys remember? Yeah, Mecha Godzilla. I've never seen Do you guys that. like Ready Player One? Yes. Oh, yeah. I love Ready Player One. This is a bit That would happen. Right. Movies ever. That would happen a lot with me and Zito at the pub where it would be on and we just put it on and watch it. No matter where. Always yeah. leave it on. Fuck it. I, I liked it too, but I do agree. I don't love the idea of just basically stealing a bunch of other IP and using it um, <laughs> just for the sake of using it. But I agree. You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. Have you watched Wreck-It Ralph yet, Ty? No, you I haven't. I will it. get around on that. Wreck-It though. Ralph 1 or 2 breaks the internet. Uh, 1, but 2 solid. Two's this good. was hilarious. Uh, this dipshit tried to cross the Atlantic <laughs> in the smallest boat ever, and uh, guess what? The three-foot vessel was destroyed, and you can see him crying in the picture. You don't say. Look how small that fucking thing is. It's worse than a smart car. <laughs> oh, man. Good try, I Wake guess. up, dipshit. I mean, it's got fucking it's radio so flyer wagon wheels on the back of it. <laughs> Good job to whoever saved this fucking bozo. Well, he only made it uh, about 100 feet yeah. uh, <laughs> off the shore, so right. I think there's a bunch of people who had to pick, actually draw straws. <laughs> I mean, Seriously, what an asshole. What yeah. was he eating? Was he, uh, oh, I'm going to catch my fish along the way and eat them as I it's go? Good question. That's a great question. Yeah. How the fuck would he make it? Look at the size. Is he trying him. to, like, remake the unbroken, you know, story? So I'm so happy. He's so crying. Do. Look Easy. at that dumb sail. His misery brings me so much joy. <laughs> yes. I fucking hate this guy. Look how fucking happy he Get is a real boat. I really thought I was going to make it across here, like... <laughs> Dipshit. I assume that's what he said. I, mean, if the <laughs> I think he did dude, it too. Dude. Fuck the this guy next. He was probably charting the weather like crazy. Was he British? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he did. Probably. He, he looked, 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 British. British. looked British. He didn't look a bit like a lion. The only thing I brought like with alive. me was this rock to brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. Uh, Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer is so long that IMAX prints are 11 miles of film stock that what? weighs some 600 <laughs> yeah, pounds. Dude. What? It is yeah. three hours long. It is his longest movie oh, ever, dude. and it did get an R rating. That's oh. how they do IMAX. It's, it's be fucking, so awesome. fucking good. Oh yeah, they're just rolling film. Yeah, it's an it's film stock. Mm -hmm. I'm so pumped. Wow, I had no idea. 600 pounds is. Heavy. That's yeah. That's like, a lot so what, of pounds. What's a normal movie? Like, if we had to, like... <laughs> yeah, what was Avatar? That's a good question. How much does a normal movie weigh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably 300 you, pounds. Sir. I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know how much of it like, was shot How does that IMAX. work in a movie theater? Like, you get this IMAX reel, and you put it in the machine? Yep. I, I'm just so going to assume... 600 pounds? I'm going to assume any movie that's three hours long is 600 pounds. Same, same yeah. Wouldn't well, that like, make sense? No, not always, because, like, IMAX prints are actually, like, bigger. Like, it's bigger than normal film prints. But so, like, let's say Doom, which wasn't three, but it was, like, 230. Same deal, because I have no idea how much of that was filmed in IMAX. Like, this this was filmed almost uh, all in oh, IMAX. Oh, so okay, like, okay. Yeah, like, it, this is, like, a specific, I mean, this is just classic Nolan, you know? So, I'm seeing here that Avatar was <laughs> 52,000 feet long. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, that's nowhere. Well, actually, it is. Yeah, right? kind of, yeah. Five, 11 would be 55, right? Yeah, so, it, well, but Avatar was what? Two hours and 47 oh, wait, no. minutes? 52,000 feet? No, 50. Yes, yes. 52,000 feet. That is miles. So, yeah, that's pretty close, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's probably ways to say that. Yeah, it might. Good to know. But it's just a great stat to release. Like, They'll hey, just send me a video. Of, like, Oppenheimer's going to be like crazy. Yeah, I'm jacked up to see it. Cannot wait. Yeah, and two weeks before that. Dead Reckoning. Boom. And also, we talked about this last week, but Barbie. Have you seen the Barbie trailer? No. Well, uh, Barbie has kind of uh, grown on me, the idea of it. 
Looks okay. Pretty, looks pretty good, actually. I mean, it's Gosling, and it's fucking, what's her name, so? Margot. Yep. Okay, See, there we go. Okay, dork. <laughs> 70 millimeter. Is he British? Yeah. Uh, he, I think he's uh, got dual citizenship. So you get an incredible sense of the immersion of the image. Did Mitch yeah. just do an audible yawn back yeah, then? Yeah, he did. did. And the benefits of Sorry it's not fucking Tom and Jerry, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it immerses you in the, in the image. The, the clarity, the crispness. It's going to be so awesome. It is the gold standard. It is the closest. Fucking I've gold so standard. Confused. Is that in every so theater? The clarity? No. So I think, like, that's just for the... Soluble? That's for... <laughs> air rated? <laughs> that top milk. That cream. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think like so those prints will go to like only IMAX theaters and then there's obviously like the normal prints that will just go to regular theaters. Nice. Gotcha. So, but I don't know because I'm not a fucking, you know, <laughs> technician who's feeding this kind of stuff through uh through deals. So next, keep an eye out for Oppenheimer. Oh no. Oh yeah, Sweden uh ha sex is a sport in Sweden now yep. and they're having competition. Mhm. Mm One solo match will <laughs> Will at least go on for a good 40, 45 minutes. The participants will have to compete in a variety of categories, including foreplay, oral sex, penetration, knowledge of the erogenous zones, and so on. Next, uh, there's a next uh, picture, too. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> this is crazy. Championship seduction. Oh, my God. Massage of various parts of the body. Massage of erotic zones on the opponent's body. Yep. Prelude, oral sex, what? penetration, what? endurance, what? appearance pose performance, creativity and change of position, endurance Mark. and the number of orgasms. Artistic performance and exchange of postures, increased blood pressure and heart rate during competition, the most yep. beautiful and difficult pose, the most artistic communication. <laughs> I want to fuck you. The orgasm contest <laughs> is out of control. I mean, the, the creativity wild. and change just of position. Give, just give Sins the trophy. That's like, exactly that's what like a good dance. For. <laughs> Rumor has it, though, that... What's that? Do you have to be an amateur? To Evan, Evan Stone's thinking about coming <laughs> no. out of retirement. Really? No. Yeah. What about Pete? Yeah, Pete North. Uh, I think he's judging. <laughs> okay, he's one of the judges. That <laughs> makes Sean, more sense. And the winner, he <laughs> just nuts on their forehead. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's how it works. Yep. Is Sean Hunter competing? Or uh, I think he's he judging the championship. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought he was a recruiter forward. for one of the better teams of Europe. That's that's yeah, he's a GM. Yeah, uh, okay. That's what I thought. Scout and talent. If anyone shows up in cargo shorts, they are going to clean up. His category. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's we'll, gonna show up on a motorcycle in cargo shorts. Yeah. We'll wait until that black casting couch gets slid across the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Is he here? Yep. No way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will be hilarious to hear about. Someone did do a uh, Francesa uh, oh, breaking breaking down <laughs> uh, with the sex competition. It was pretty good. Unbelievable. Wait, yeah. Where can we watch this? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this and report I think back. Pornhub Poor Poor has exclusive rights, I believe, I, okay. at the yeah, moment. So. But yeah, naturally. Uh, Spank Bang might have. Yeah, Brazzers is making a push. They are. Yep. They are. And you cannot forget. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Come on, Go ahead. Lock Actually, Her Come Herbie, on. Herbie, Herbie, why don't you take this one? This is kind of one of your fortes. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. nobody. Nobody. Nobody does it better. <laughs> <laughs> Herbert. Herbie. Cover up your boner, Herbie. Yeah. Herbie. Oh, I, got, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Neck. Fucking money talks, bullshit walks. Uh, some guy who <laughs> pretended to be dead for 321 days <laughs> got an acting role as a dead body on CSI. Nice. Shit. See, that, that, I mean, that's just hard work paying off. That Fred. is. How could you pretend to be dead? <laughs> yeah, is it just like I live alone and no one checked on me? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I just, do not know. I got away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not leaving my house. You leave your mouse on like dance mode. That was a big work from home trick. What's dance mode? You can leave it uh, so your mouse just moves so you stay gr a green dot on Gmail, Slack, etc. Jesus oh, so Christ. You fall asleep, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so you're stealing time, you son of a bitch. Oh, I okay. never did. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I bet, that. Mr. Yeah. Nobody, nobody, nobody does it better. I bet <laughs> you never stole yeah. No, no. no. And it's mostly on PC. Oh, okay. PC Master Race. Of course, yeah. PC. Bingo. Duh. Yeah, good for this guy, though. Yeah, just a flat, fat slob being a fat slob. Exactly. Gotta respect it. Next. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Tony, oh, yeah. take, Tony, take this, it away. Let this thing eat. Okay, so we did. Taking old C turn. Uh, one house to new house. Anyways, bad boy. 
Not as fast on the open road as it is to the yard, it feels like. Oh, sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. <Yeah. laughs> Idiot. Yeah. We'll be right. How you doing? Out of the road, you fucking asshole! <laughs> Did you get well, any waves? We talked about it, that just that one pretty much. Yep. Uh, we talked about it last week um, that I was going to be doing this from my old house to new house. Yep. Mitch said it would take two hours. I two thought he said twenty-four hours. Yeah. <laughs> he may have. He may I have. I did say two hours. How it long took, did it take? It took twenty you? minutes. Okay. <laughs> Spot on. Uh, I enjoyed it. What was top speed? It was fun. Well, not as fast as you'd think. No? Well, were you hey, going well, on you're grass? you're fucking zipping around in your yard, <laughs> you feel like you're going a lot faster than you really are, I think. When you you let that baby eat on a straightaway on the road, yeah, there's cars going by. Yeah, going 30, yeah. That's yeah. kind of like when Jesse uh, uh, first was on a fast. Civics and Fast and Furious. Yep. He soups them up because there's just <laughs> something. A boat, an engine, it gets me going. Uh, did you think about... Swerving into someone's yard and just striping the shit. Out yeah. of <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did. It. I at one point. I, I at one point because I was on the sidewalk mm -hmm. and there was someone coming on the sidewalk. Uh, and I did go on the grass and I did fucking switch on the blades real wow. quick. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, if I'm in the grass, yeah, you gotta cut it. Uh, <laughs> Tell me this though: if you were driving and you saw a lawn that was so long, kind of like Mitts. Yeah, would you mm -hmm. save the day? You, you do something. Or just you take be a, a hero? quick swipe. Yeah. Do your hey, neighbor. got you started. <laughs> yeah. Prick. Do your neighbor on your way there. That would have been fucking sweet, but, um, you know, most of the lawns I saw are very well manicured. Whoa. I not, have, not something I had to think about. Nice. nice. No, I didn't. I, we don't know. What tunes are you listening to? <laughs> he doesn't have uh, a house. I, so a lot, I got a lot of shit for having the uh, fucking uh, the the noise, noise blockers. Yeah, the, the shooting. The shooting earbuds. The shooting stars. Here. Um, if you're riding that and you have just earbuds in, you can't hear, can't hear a fucking anything. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you got to put the uh, probably. I was listening to a lot of Zach Brown. Fucking Brian so Adams. nice. nice. Yeah, Life Brian is Adams, a highway. Got my away. first real six string. Oh, yeah. down. But no, it was awesome. Just like I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah. it was sweet. All it the fucking, sweet. all the haters sound, got shut up. Yeah, yeah. yeah not it did look sound sweet. as happy as I really would expect. What? What do you mean? He's questioning know, your excitement tone in your voice, Tony. I just don't know if you're being real. Oh, you minivans. did kind of cut that minivan off pretty bad. I did not see the minivan. Yeah, he was, uh, got was recording a video. video. Yeah, sorry. You had the right away, I think. I did not. It did. I did because there was it was. A green I think light. all lawnmowers have right away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're good. And I was in the crosswalk, so. so what are you gonna yeah. do? Hit me? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go owe me a deer and two million dollars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good for you, Tony. Way to get the that job. That van had a hilarious fucking um, license plate, too. What did it say? Fuck you. Baghdad. Oh. Oh, that's good. What's next? Next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. This is all time <laughs> classic. Oh, this was Here's weird. the minivan. Just let this eat. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 10 feet to roll over, goddammit. Yeah. Mick, Mick got so out of the car and he was fine. The car the right. <laughs> Holy the shit. Other the other cops, like. All right, you got that. I'm just gonna take care of this over here. <laughs> person did survive, right? Yes. Yeah, person's okay. Uh, injuries, of course. How do you oh, not man. see that? This was me leaving the theater after watching Fast. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Gumpy was on with this. This does make me question a lot of the stunts. This is me after I said I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean that. Busy Gump. Absolutely. Is so bad, dude. So oh my God, Tiffany. Tiffany, roll over. <laughs> so, so this person was just staring, is. staring at their phone. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just having the time of their lives. Just ho-hum <laughs> another Saturday. And then, and then fucking hell. Crazy. This I, is one of those times where, like, you forget you're driving. Yeah. yeah, you, ever, yeah. you ever have those? Like, you're driving. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're I, don't know if I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I'm fucking hitting that thing. Uh, you're not even on your phone. Oh, I agree, Bruce. But, like, you're not even on your phone. You're just like. Looking forward. Yeah, just staring <laughs> off into yeah. space. Yeah, you're like yes, you're not no actually doubt. looking, but you no are. Doubt. Yeah, you, you get home, you're like, did I do that? Yeah, I've how did I get have home? those moments, but there's always something that will like snap me back in, like a fucking cone or like something on the road. I feel like you I driving on the this. shoulder. <laughs> yeah, hitting that the sidewalk. That, that cone wasn't, that cone wasn't <laughs> in the road traffic. before you hit it. <laughs> no, there's a Fun. cone. I say I, I noticed something, and then I like snap back in. How do you not notice this at all? I agree. Definitely I will say some people have zoned attention. out before. I have never zoned out to a point where you don't see no it. No way. No, never. I, I can't believe that the ramp, 
like being down on the back of the truck oh, actually God, worked was. in terms oh, yeah. of yeah. getting that, that area. Yeah, because if it wasn't, <laughs> oh, that, like, that was, that was yeah, kind of sick. We're seeing a fucking <laughs> head on it's the crazy. sidewalk. Exactly. That is something I would try in GTA. I did it. We, we I, I it's fucking did thing, so right? many insane stunt jumps yeah. this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I did this many times. Yeah, we left, me and Herbie left ties after golf around 1.30 and maybe it was 2. And Ty texted us at like 9. Like, hey, I'm finally going to, you know, stop playing GTA. <laughs> but yeah, you got some time in. I played so much this weekend. Online or just like? No, just one? fucking running back the, the, the story mode story. on PS5. Wow. You just restarted it? Shock, 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 I like shock, being the shock, other guy shock, in the shock. desert and you got five playing. Trevor? Trevor? Yeah, that's cool. Trevor is kind of like you, Bert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Opening scene right. is awesome. It's almost as if Shock Week has come to life. Shock, 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 shock. Next. We didn't get him. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, if you want to learn how to cook, there's only Here, one man. What is this? This is BBQ with cook Big Jake. Just get enjoy get this. Yeah, those when don't look as good down. as Omaha steaks, but they don't. We'll but just wait. Off the bottom side, we'll split between our two bones here. We'll go ahead and make a nice clean cut. How old is this Let kid? Let me guess. You found you found along. him? Yeah, me and uh, we'll me Z and Nick have been looking at Big Jake for quite some time now. Nice rub in. Hold on. In He's gonna get that we'll that mustard incorporated in there. Okay, now we're gonna hit him with some holy voodoo and some honey bacon barbecue. Oh, mm. meat church. He's either 14 nice or 38. That's what I was about to bring up. Yeah, the age discrepancy is wild. Some videos he has a hat off. Yeah, 48. We go out to the pit. Or 13. Hey, we got our ribbons on the pit, about 250 degrees. We we'll throw them on there. This look good. About two and a half, three hours. I know. I'm starving. Okay. <laughs> also, okay, we've had our ribbons on. Oh, incredibly oh, modest Lord. with his equipment. Yes. Pop them in the pan. <laughs> Some is Cosmo's sweet smoke. Sweet smoke. We'll give him a good cover in there. Mm. Is this we'll Miles Gee's manager? <laughs> Jeez. Or hey, chef? Okay, yep. chef. Oh, oh my God. God. These are purple. Degrees. Welcome to the another jungle. Hour, hour and a half with this sauce glaze over. Okay, we've been another hour on the pit. I'll pull our ribbits off. Bring them in. Get ready to serve. Ribbits? What's he serving? Okay, with? we got our ribbits off the pit. Been on for about one more hour. Good and glazed over. Mm. Good and tender. Mm. <laughs> right fucking on. love this good guy. Tender, so kid. Cool. Hey, look at that cross section right there. Oh, it's all about the cross section. Cross section. Tell you what. Now we have to live to do. Going for that bite. Mm. Mm. That's where it's at. That is where it's at. That is BBQ with Big J. You know what I love most? About BBQ and Big J, he don't talk down to you. He does. No. He will make something, and he makes you feel like you could make that same exact dish ten out of ten times. Yep. Yeah, if you have the fucking the voodoo rope. Yeah, that's kind Still of my a lot of these chef videos you watch. You're like, I can't do all that. Can't do I agree. BBQ with Big Jake. You, I assure you, you can. That's yeah, what I'm he uh, <laughs> he makes a killer case of deal, by the way. I believe it. I know you're not in case I, I'll be honest. I know you guys love uh, he He's got some serial killer vibes. No. <laughs> yeah, he kind of freaks me out, too. Yeah, Stop. he kind he of rewinded just a little bit. Pauses, just, just to where he pauses, peels it. what? Yeah, right. Some he's just killer looking vibes. at you dead Look, in the look Yeah, yeah. Pause it right there. <laughs> look at that fucking kid. You're telling no, me. No, you can't yeah, leave. You're look at the cross section. Yeah, he's admiring his cross section. Yeah, and the cross hairs, too. Yeah. I, I can assume. Look at that. Look, look he's at got it. some lizard king, too. Yeah, you wouldn't be salivating and eyeing up a delicious <laughs> piece of meat like that. In front of look at the <laughs> meat I would. I need to see what this camera guy looks like because he looks like he's about to eat him. I believe it's his mom because in one of the videos he said, I got the okay from my mom. I am on cameo now. If you want me to tell you. That's that one really confused me because I was pretty Exa sure he was an older gentleman. Me too. And now that makes it I impressive. Don't know. Yeah. Now it's that a, now we're back, he, no that knows. makes it impressive. Well, he's also got a uh, nice Ram four x four that he drives himself. He owns a house. <laughs> what? From a small town. <laughs> Never really consider going to a big town. So Actually, yeah, small town guy. I've seen okay, that so one. he is a serial killer. <laughs> oh my god! I don't. Well, he's actually. He, he, oh, he's just small I, town. I believe he's like a town. paramedic, or he works down at the local station. Oh, works with people who die. <laughs> I don't know about people who die. I think he saves a lot of people, but he also brings in his meats and his rubs. Good cross section. <laughs> he also, if <laughs> if you watch bit. enough of his videos, 
Boy, does Big Jake love buffalo chicken. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. He makes some different type of buffalo chicken something. Damn near every video. And I respect uh, yeah. that. Because <laughs> it's got so many different varieties, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And he's damn near conquered everyone. Mm. He'll basically just open up like a bag of chips, dump them out, and be like, I'm going to cook some buffalo chicken <laughs> inside this old Doritos bag. Get the Dorito dust in there nice and incorporated. I'm going to let this sit for two and a half hours. <laughs> what Big Jake did with that buffalo chicken. Yeah. He's he was right. right man for the job. Yeah. He, Jake does have some Yost in him. Got a little bit of Coach Yost in it's, a, it's a Yost and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> On Xanax. <laughs> yeah. 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 He is yeah. slower. He's yeah. slower than both of them. Because he is from Texas, so you can tell he's got the basis is a little bit of a Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Yeah. But he has a Yost delivery. <laughs> but he's got a little bit of a Yost delivery. And oh, again, man. He does like to make buffalo chicken. If you w- go to his Instagram, <laughs> he's got probably about 120 videos on there. I think he makes about at least 115 different varieties okay. of buffalo chicken. Okay. He also likes Quest chips because he wants to get his macros in. <laughs> Smart guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I'm telling you, just fucking go What's look. His I will. Uh, I will. I think it's BBQ with Big Jake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a fucking legend. Yeah, can you keep pressing play? I just want to hear him talk a little more. Tell you what. Now we have Lev Do. Going for that bite. I don't think Lev Do. Mm. Mm. That's where it's at. Go to the very start so you can kind of get a little idea of. Hey, everybody. Today, we're going to make some riblets. Cooking up some ribs for a little family get together. We went ahead and trimmed the ribs down. Now we're gonna make riblets off of the bottom side. We'll split between our two bones here. We'll go ahead and make a nice clean cut. We'll do that all the way along. <laughs> we'll get ready to season them up. We'll hit them with that old mustard binder. Yeah. Get that nice rub in and incorporate it in there. And we're gonna season them up. There's no fucking fancy okay, camera tricks either. <laughs> no, I do like that. That's just one barbecue. shot. We're here. Oh, we're getting church. down to business. Yeah, he's, he's got his ring light. Yep. And that's it. Is he saying ribeye? Is it ribbit? Ribeye? It's a ribbit. It's a ribbit, Herbie. You fucking learn that. Sorry, saying ribeye like no, super twang. Sorry, sorry, like we're, sorry we're not fucking just eating steaks at Jeff Ruby's like you did growing up. Okay, we're making riblets. Okay, it's a and tomorrow we'll make buffalo chicken. Cheap, pe- cheap cut of meat, very affordable. And then you get the spices and the spicy mustard. Fucking learn a thing or two, Herbie. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> shout out BBQ. Shout out. Big shout out. Next. That's my, I think that's the last thing. Oh, never mind. Yeah. What is the pod without some fucking fatso trying to jump <laughs> over a fence into a pool? And you can guess how this thing goes. No. I, I think he's knocked out. Oh I, when, I, would guess. I think he just collapses it's into the water. Oh. Look how squarely his head <laughs> concrete. The rebound off yeah. the concrete. Yeah, the bounce. I mean, what is the guy Boom. trying to do? Big Jake's got 300,000 followers. Yeah, Big yeah. Jake's a fucking superstar. About 700,000, <laughs> not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Me, yeah. I thought he was going to have 300 million. What? Okay. I mean, oh. hey, how is that fucking bar so slick? <laughs> well, the guy's wet. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's, that's how it's his just foot. That's slick. Not his, Can you call it's, he's got a slick foot, like, not even the oh. bar. Boom! No. And then from here he goes, all right, head I'm fucking up. dive in. <laughs> oh, from there he falls in. Unconscious. Watch, he goes, all right, I'm fucking diving. Maybe he's just trying to give the pavement <laughs> a little kiss. Frozen. Yeah, maybe that is what he's doing. Oh, man. Watch me kiss the side of this pool. That's a fu- that's brutal. Bill sent that in. All right. Crack that's school. Cool. Yeah. And his, his fucking lard ass is sinking right to the oh, yeah. of that pool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if, if someone wasn't here recording this, that guy's dead. It also doesn't look like the cameraman's that concerned no. No. quick to help him out. Oh, this <laughs> happens every week, really. All right. Good luck, pal. Next. Bill sent this one in, too. Oh, yeah. oh, this one's bad. This is classic. This guy's actually got some serious skills. He Man, does. This kind of reminds me of you. I feel like I'd you say you should try too. this, miss. Yeah, pants. Same pants, same scooter. Scooter. Everybody takes scooter out. And he, he, he almost gets there. Oh! No! Come on. He's lucky he didn't get 150 stitches. He from might that. have. I don't know. Uh, he might have. Oh, he, really he might have. Oh, I mean, his no head squished. Yeah. Look how much his head squished. Yeah. He might have got 150 stitches. That is a direct blow to the C4, C5. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the neck. He might have fractured his neck. His right hand looks like it went oh, through dude, it a little yes. bit. Yep. And then I can he, see a skeleton, dude. <laughs> 
Yeah. He looks like fucking Marv when he got electrocuted. <laughs> yeah. He does. Is he alive? I don't, uh, I don't he, know. He keeps Bill's moving after he falls. Oh, yeah, right okay. there. Yeah. See? Oh, fuck. Yeah, but he, yeah, he ended up getting it. I will say, stitches. I thought he'd be more fucked up than that. I thought it'd be immediate brain fallout. Yeah, instant blood. I agree with you. There's a chance. I mean, this guy probably has been eaten out of a straw for the last. Yeah, that's, a, mm -hmm. that's another brutal fall. What do we got? <laughs> what was a cool feat? <laughs> What's after this? We don't, yeah, we don't have to watch it again. Oh, I'm not watching it again. I'm hiding underneath my hood. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, let's not make the people watch again. Okay. Boom! Oh, Next. Oh, that would suck. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, well it seems like we hit that one. All right. It was, a, uh, it was a good day. It was good to have the full barn. It, w it was. Uh, Nick, welcome back. Hope you enjoy yeah. Hawaii, your vacation. Herbie's Congratulations. Good. good having you on there. Hopefully, hopefully you come back and see us again. Uh, and I'm dead serious. Fucking watch every single BBQ <laughs> with Big Jake video before next week's pod. Because we might have a couple more on there. See you next week. That's where it's at.